it's just that um, the work uh, environment of Vyantra is just uh, very very inspirational for me. And uh, the first time I did my internship, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that motivated me to do more. Our learning curve started by referring research papers. And uh, just to uh, put it out there, these research papers are not something that is very digestible. It is. It takes time. Uh, the convention itself, the naming, nomenclature, all of it takes time to uh, get your head wrapped around. And um, after that, you there, there's like this slow grip that you start developing over them. And then as you refer more research papers, you keep hunting for research papers, you get this feeling uh, that I already know this and uh, I've, I've read this before. And so you you begin to, there's this inner voice that comes in and you begin to say that, um, yes, I do know this and this is how it's done, this is how it's not. And you start pointing out flaws in their algorithms if there are any. I sat for placements and the play, the HR, they directly asked me what projects I've done. And then as soon as I explained the projects, they were like, oh, it's it's pretty, it's a pretty intensive project. How did you manage to, do, how will your team work? And so I, yes, they do get uh, impressed. And uh, I did get a placement offer, uh, and uh, but I was more into research because of such projects. They <laughs> fueled me more towards research and so, Yes, I'm going to be doing uh, more research after I, my college is done. To never give up, right? So uh, there's always going to be debugging. No matter how simple the problem statement is, it, the debugging is going to be there. And a person's mindset has to be tuned in a way that he has to debug to get uh, into uh, the final problem statement's uh, solution. It's like a baby growing up, learning new things right a complete beginner who absolutely has no idea uh, on robotics or any other uh, field or domain he gradually learns but he does learn steadily and um, he tries new things every day and every time he fails he again learns new things and keeps learning keeps learning until he learns to master focus on the execution uh, yes i would say plan out your project but focus more on the execution aspects as well. And uh, yeah, never die attitude. You should never, <laughs> never ever give up. <laughs> That's one thing that you have to keep in mind uh, when creating robots or any other projects out there. In Pulse Candy, the, the core itself is very much tangy and testy. So we have to spend a lot, a bit of time to dissolve the outer cell and we got the core which is very tough. So we used to spend time and the result is good. Real Steel. So it's basically a movie based on robots and uh, it's on it's a futuristic sort of science fiction movie wherein um, this kid who has this passion uh, discovers a robot that saves him from a cliff for when he goes for trash searching and um, the robot the robot he then then finds potential in the robot and harnesses that potential wins those fights right from the ground up and then slowly makes it to the big big league wherein the bigger robots uh, knock it down but even then it keeps on fighting keeps on fighting never gives up and he, he then challenges a robot called a Zeus uh, who's basically the king of the WRB or, or the arena and uh, yes while he did lose uh, he was the people's champion so as this goes without saying again that uh, results don't matter it's the process that uh, matters here that's the journey that defines you